you've got this heritability number and people come away constantly thinking about it's telling you about how much the average level of a trait is determined by genes it's instead telling you how much the variability what that means thus by definition that there's all sorts of nutty counterintuitive things going on where earrings are totally heritable and number of fingers are not what that tells you is by definition, the way experiments are set up to make things nice and clean and interpretable, scientists typically remove environmental variability. Scientists typically artificially have boosted up the seeming heritability of a trait. What does that tell you? The more different environments you study a trait in, the lower the heritability is going to be because you are going to be giving more and more opportunities for things to be different, there are more opportunities to be able to say, it depends. It depends on which environment. We've just studied it in 99 different environments, and it always looks like this, no difference by environment, and genes always make a huge difference. And then you go out, and before dying of fatigue, you study it in the 100th environment, and it now looks like this sort of thing. What you've just learned is this is a it depends example. The more environments you study something in, the lower heritability is going to be. Translating that into English, the more environments you study a genetically influenced trait, the less interesting and important the genes are going to be. The less interesting and important they're going to be in answering what does this gene have to do with whatever. And what we're seeing over and over again is the only way to answer it, or over and over again, it's going to be a it depends, it depends on the environment. Ultimately, as I said a little while ago, ultimately it winds up being meaningless to ask what a gene does. Ultimately, the only really truly scientific way you can answer a question like that is, what does this gene do in this particular environment? People make this big deal out of, oh, genes do something, environments do something, and every now and then, hooray, they interact in some exciting way and teaching the gene environment interaction cliche, that's what's happening every single time. And that winds up being the basis of that quote from Paul Ehrlich in this department that I put on the handout, which is great, summarizes this entire point, Asking whether genes or environment have more to do with some trait is akin to asking whether height or length have more to do with the volume of a rectangle. They're inseparable. There's no such thing as a gene influence outside the context of an environmental interaction. 